Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I'm happy that you have returned. I hope you're here to stay. All right. So as you can see by the description title of this video, this is going to be my top tips in being successful as a new nurse. My first tip is going to be like, comment, and subscribe to this channel so that you can get everything Beverly. Without further ado, let's jump into tip number one. Look professional. I'm going to tell you this. Look the part. Looks are everything. You can walk into the room and own the room by the way you look. You can walk into the room and people can look, think that you look dirty. Okay? If you are laying in the bed, a hospital bed, sick, hurt, having the worst day of your life, do you want somebody to come in there looking like they just rolled out of bed? No. So don't be that nurse. Take pride in the way you look. Iron your clothes. Make sure, even if it's color, matchy, don't feel like you're doing too much. People love to look at beautiful people, okay? Trust me. Do yourself a favor and look the part. You can be dumb, but if you look good, people will believe you, okay? Look the part. Tip two, be punctual. If you're late all the time, no one's gonna take you serious. They're gonna feel like you have no kind of respect and that you don't actually care. So you will not be successful. People will just look at you like, this girl is here to play games. This girl is not serious, okay? The early bird gets the worm. It is a saying for a reason. Be punctual. Tip number three, attitude. Have a good attitude. Smile. Be polite. Show that you have manners. Let them know that your mama raised a good one, not a fool. Your mama ain't raised no fool, so don't come out here acting all like you know it all because you don't. Don't come out here gossiping. Don't do that. Just don't be that girl. Don't be that nurse that nobody wants to have around because you have a nasty attitude. You're complaining all the time. Oh, hell. Here come negative, naggy Nancy. Or here come Shady Sally. Or here come Nosy Rosie. Okay, don't be that girl. Have a positive attitude. Always smile. Be courteous. Be gracious. You know, it'll take you a long way. Tip number five. Save your money. Most companies have retirement plans. Invest in one from day one. Do what you want to do, but I'm telling you, save your money. Tip six. Build a rapport with your boss. If your boss knows the quality and the character of you as a person, they will go to bat for you if you ever, for some reason, get jammed up in a situation. Or if you make a mistake, or if you're accused of something. If your boss knows who you are, they can probably be like, mm, I don't believe, and they'll come and talk to you to try to see your side of the story or get an explanation from you. And if what you have to say is truthful and they can tell the sincerity, I'm pretty sure your boss is going to side with you. If you build a relationship with your boss that you always have a negative attitude, that you're always late, and that you make a lot of mistakes, then when you get accused of something or when you make a mistake, they're going to be ready to run your behind over, okay, with a semi-truck, with no hesitations. And you don't want that to happen to you because we work hard for these nursing licenses. We worked hard. We stayed up late. We cried. We contemplated jumping off of a cliff. We contemplated meeting our professors in the parking lot and hitting them with a two-piece. We um, 
sold blood at the plasma centers to make sure that we had gas money and lunch money for clinicals. We worked 8 to 12 hour clinicals for free. So don't lose your license over a little mistake. All right. Tip number seven. Take your mother effing vacations. Okay. Because it's nurses out here that are mean and miserable because they work 24-7 and they are burned out. When I tell you the hospital will survive if you take a week off. It survived for 100 years before you got there. I'm pretty sure it can survive 100 hours without you. That's only two and a half weeks. You can take a two and a half week vacation. And if you a nurse and you can't afford to take a vacation, that's shame on you because you shouldn't be spending your money like that because that's tip number five and that's save your damn money. So you better take a vacation. Go out of town. Go to Antigua. Go to Las Vegas. Matter of fact, go down the street and get a massage at the mall for $25 for 20 minutes. You know, you can escape, you can decompress, you can do whatever you need to do. But you need to take a vacation. I understand. I know. Because I am a nurse. I know that there's burnout is real. So I understand the shit we go through. So I want you to know that you need to take a day vacation that you need to take time out for you that you need to take care of yourself because if you can't take care of yourself who can you take care of okay how can i trust you to save my life if you can't even save your own life yalla okay be something yalla fix your life take a week off take a week off i don't know who needs to hear this but take a week off but Tip number eight is going to be be efficient. So many mistakes come from people cutting corners. And I kid you not, cutting a corner could cost someone their life, especially if you're working in a pediatrics, especially if you're working in ICU, especially if you're working in cardiac care, especially if you're working in surgical, especially if you're working the minute you walk into a hospital and you put someone else's life in your hands, I want you to know that you need to be efficient because you don't want to bear the burden of knowing that you killed somebody for being sloppy. I never had that burden placed on me, so I don't know how it feel. I can only imagine that it feels like crap. So... I really want you to realize that yes, it gets hard. Yes, you're going to be slow. Yes, it's going to be overwhelming until you get your feel for things. And before, and you need to learn like what your weaknesses are and what you need to do. Like I know for a fact that I can't multitask. And it's not because I don't have the mental capacity. It's because I don't want to ever feel like I didn't give my all to a certain situation so when i'm taking care of one patient i only want to know about this one patient i don't allow people to interrupt me unless someone is on fire or they're dead or they're about to die do not come into another patient's room to tell me anything about anyone except for this patient because it's going to take my attention off of this patient and then i'm going to make a mistake and that's not fair to that person so i want you to be efficient make sure you do your charting do not chart that you've been checking Peter posts on the double amputee. Don't do it because nurse Erica is very excellent. So you know that she does her assessment. So when you see that she check Peter posts and it's plus two, no bounding equal, um, don't be that girl. Because excellent Erica is really full of it. And she just wants y'all to think that she just the lip bomb behind nurse. Well, really, since we got corners like the rest of everybody else. So, you know what? Do that. When it comes to your insulins, make sure you get another person to look at it. I know we give insulin four times a day, four times a week. So, you've done it a thousand times. Don't let this thousand and one time be the time you give short-acting insulin where you're supposed to give long-acting insulin. And you bottom your patient out and then they die. Be efficient. Tip number nine.
be friendly with the CNA staff. You don't have to be best friends, but treat them right because they can make or break your shift. They are and they can be a saving grace if you treat them right. But if you treat them bad, baby. <sighs> Sorry for ya. But anyways, tip number 10. I just want to say be kind and be patient with yourself. This is the most important tip because at the end of the day, you're new. Anybody doing something new, you have to be patient with yourself. Be proud of the fact that you made it through nursing school and don't feel like you just have to know every single thing right now because it comes with time. The saying it gets greater, it gets greater later is really real. Like it takes time, you know, to be that seasoned nurse. It takes time practicing IVs to become really good at them. It takes time to build your critical thinking skills. So be patient with yourself because a lot of it is up here in your mind. The person laying in that bed or sitting in the chair, wherever it may be, all they know is the board of nursing felt like you were competent enough to take care of them. So they believe in you. The only person who don't believe in you is you. So start with yourself. I am a good nurse. I am a safe nurse. I know what I'm doing. I'm confident in myself. I can do this. I was put here because I am qualified. I'm not going to make any mistakes today. I am going to be thorough. I am dedicated to this nurse life. All right, guys. I'm hoping that one of these 10 tips will help you.